Well, today is a little bit dreary, uh, but I decided to drive an hour and 20 minutes to the Shillington Goodwill. Um, so we're here today. The parking lot isn't super crowded, so I've got high hopes, but we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. and welcome to my channel. Every one of these cards does not work, but I'm gonna pick the most functioning one that clicks every two seconds. <laughs> uh, here we go. I think I picked this up the last time I was here with Dagny. It's still not Mackenzie Childs. a long trip. I'm going to start here in the yellow section uh, because we've had really good luck here the past few times we visited so it only makes sense that we would check it out again. It's a little souvenir for Puerto Rico. This is kind of a cold drink dispenser. It's got polka dots on it. Let's see if I can Tip it. Hmm. Not really sure. Wow, a whole bag full of plates and cups. What is that? Yikes. That's an endeavor right there. I don't think I want that endeavor. <laughs> a little serving tray. The gold on that is really vibrant. It's two dollars and ninety-nine cents. Has a floor de lis and even that is painted gold. $2.99. There's no chips or damage on it. I think I'll take that. Was a little Fenton Bear. $2.99. Always got damage on his ear. That's why he's still sitting there. Hey. I just bought some of this the other day when I was here. A dollar ninety-nine. I guess this is a another piece. So huh, there we go. Two ninety-nine. A little music box with piggies on it. What in the world are these things? Made in China, not a toy. Do not let your children play with these. <laughs> not sure my children would want to play with those. That's kind of a neat box. I guess it's a lantern of some sort. I don't know. Some bamboo. Those are just cups. $1.99 each. I know this would be fun for a tiki bar. I don't know though. Hmm. You know what? I'll grab them and we'll just see. What this is. It's got Asian characters on the back of it. This is kind of a neat lamp. Just needs a new shade. Oh, look at this picture. Crested butt. <laughs> is that what that says? I think it is what it says. It's got a little finger thing. How much is it? Do you see a price? It's not priced. Probably. They would probably charge me like $2.99 for that. There's an owl. That's made of resin and just made to look like wood. His little ear is broken off. That thing is crazy looking. It makes me think of uh, Beauty and the Beast. There are some canisters. What are those? Industry something ink. Hmm. Made in China. They are pretty cool. Oh, they've got fruit on the lids. 
Those would be great for a farmhouse. I have a little, let's see. Check out the inside. Oh, they look clean. Oh, that spoon is broken though. You could probably get replacement spoons for them. I might grab those. We would likely list those as a buy it now. What is this little guy? Oh, that's the whole planter. Thought he was a figurine. What is that? Onion River Pottery. Never heard of that pottery before. I mean, I'll give it a shot. No price on that either. Hmm. There's a whole bag of unicorns. And up here is a little puppy dog bell. It's really dirty though. This looks like it could be Loray. Is it? Loray pastels. And surprisingly, it's not chips. Every time I find this, it's always chips. $2.99. What is that? Oh, that's weird. Kind of reminds me of Romero Brito with the colors. I don't know if you would put your glasses on that. I don't know, it's funky and weird. There is a little bit of chipping on the edges, but it's not terrible. I'll grab it because it's unusual. And then I'm definitely gonna grab this down here. Because goodness gracious, there's birds on it and it's beautiful. Stitchery. <laughs> I think it's just embroidered. That's amazing. I love that. How much is it? Let's look. $4.99. Oh, this guy's missing his beak. I'm like, there has to be something wrong with them. There always is. Let's look over here. It's a shaggy looking dog. It's made of resin, but he's kind of endearing. <laughs> what is this? J and W. $2.99. I'm not really sure what that is. It looks cool. It's a salt glaze, but obviously I have no idea what it says. El Borinquen Welcome Drink. Puerto Rico. Multiples of those. I don't know. I don't know. And they are kind of cool, but I like those cats over there better. Little kitty bands. $1.99 each. And that's made in Taiwan. I thought that was maybe a now figurine. <laughs> I actually had one of these before. It's out of my windowsill. The other day I was at Goodwill and they were testing out vacuums the entire time I was there. And today it seems to be like they're going to be testing radios the entire time. So you guys are going to have to bear with me. <laughs> Here's a Crate and Barrel mug. Cup, I should say. Those were priced at like $6.50 the other day at the Thermont Goodwill. They have a $1.99 on it here. What is going on here? I must ask. I, he, I mean, he's cool. He's definitely vintage. There's no markings on the bottom. I can't tell if he's a hobbyist piece. He's, he's got like two different glazes. $3.99 a little baseball player with his baseball glove. I think I've spotted some Capo de Monte. I'm moving very slow because every time my cart does that, everything jiggles. Do you think it's broken? It's probably broken, right? Oh, it is. Look. Right there and there. It's all beat up. Oh, goodness. All right. That's kind of pretty, but I don't think there's much value there. That's kind of pretty. Ask. Um. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, it's chocolate, $1.99. I don't usually pick these up, but look at how sweet her face is. Is it a her? Is it a he? It's probably baby Jesus, right? I mean, the face is very feminine. So I'm getting mixed vibes. I really like that. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick that up. Oh look, there's a Bradley doll. <laughs> Does she the musical one? No, she's not musical. I, don't, I mean, they only sell for like 
12 bucks. She's $1.90. I mean, she is pretty. She's in pretty decent condition as well a lot of the times. When they get dust on them, they're like really nasty. can't believe I want to buy this, but I think I am. Okay, so up here is a unicorn planter made in Taiwan. It's very, very thin. Actually, it's not a planter at all. It's a candlestick holder. I'm surprised it's not broken. What is this thing? Hmm, must be a vase. And then this has butterflies on it. <laughs> Look at this fella. Somebody gave him a saddle. Kind of cute. It's sad that he got donated. Look at him. What is this? Is it thing in Grondel? Made in. Okay. Oh, it is. It's thing in Grondel. Kind of a simple one, though. It's a dollar ninety-nine. I mean, I think eight to twelve bucks on that. Okay, I'll take that. Hi there. My precious, a dollar ninety nine. Um, this is a lithopane fairy light, and it has Santa Claus on it. That's just fantastic. And then down here, what is this? I love how pretty and floral that is. Edelstein, Bavaria. I guess the pattern is likely Shelby. Oh, there's two different marks on there. One says Bavaria. One says made in Germany. I don't know. Usually I can sell those for 25 to 35, and actually they sell better around the holidays and we have Easter coming up, so I am a little bit tempted on that. As long as there's no damage to it. Nah, you know what, let's grab it, because we're coming up on Easter, and that's when people are buying a lot of their serving pieces, especially floral serving pieces. It's a Pennsylvania, so I've, I've actually bought and sold one of these before. You know, eight to twelve bucks. What is this? Second Avon anniversary. Hmm. I think somebody glued a card or something onto that. Oh, they're ninety-nine. It's kind of weird though, because it would be hung on an edge like this. So, oh, those are cool candlesticks over there. I might try to jump over and grab those. And uh, clearly somebody donated their unicorn collection because there are unicorns everywhere. This one's just a horse, though. Look at those little babies doing somersaults. I'll grab those. That might be worth picking up. They don't have a price on them, though. So I guess we'll figure it out when we get to the checkout. Okay, well, let's check out this unicorn collection, shall we? It's a little wobbly, but I don't think it's broken. What is it marked on the bottom? Lessons in Magic Collection. Here are those candlesticks. No, they're Avon perfume bottles. They're not candlesticks. Little ducky dish. Hmm. Made in Japan. It's very sweet. I'm gonna look these up because there's a lot of them and they're kind of cool. Alright, so I looked up these unicorns and uh, it looks like they sell pretty decent, especially if you're only paying $1.99 each. This one sold for $30 and that's the one right there. Um, I think there's another one here. I don't know which one this is. Um, I do have to make sure that they have their horns apparently because one of them is broken. But I think those are worth picking up. Okay, so I picked up the ones that weren't broken. Unfortunately, these ones are missing their horns. And uh, so is this guy. And then this one has kind of a broken crown. Well, they both do. So I got the ones that were in good condition. And I think we're going to keep rolling. There's a sweet little birdie on the shelf. Surprisingly, it doesn't have any damage. But um, I don't think there's tremendous resale value there. We'll just... Set it. Alright, I'm not giving up yet. We've been down all the aisles though. That's kind of a neat looking lamp. The gazelles on it. 
Mm. But with that texture, it's got a lot of scuffing. These little guys are new. Look at this. Oh, he's a shaker. I don't think he has a friend, though. Oh, wait. Yeah, those are... Uh, I don't see the hole in the other one, though. Oh, it's on his chest. Okay, all right. Uh, they are blue sky. They have a name on them. They're adorable. Um, there is some film, like almost grease on them now, so probably have to give them a good clean. And now it's all over my hands. We looked at that before. What is that? Oh, it's a resin. It's a resin collie. French, French design. Crystalline art. Hmm. Maybe I'll pick that up. It's a resin. I don't know. Give it a shot. It's kind of weird. This is a leather wrapped giraffe, only a dollar ninety-nine. He's got both his ears. A lot of the times, I find these leather wrapped creatures, and they're missing their ears. Um, dollar ninety-nine. I don't know. Mm, do you want to come home with me? Yes, he does. Okay. The other piece is here. Oh, that one's. That one is also leather wrapped. Is it a mommy and baby? I think they're too different. I guess we could sell those as a pair. This guy is probably a hobbyist piece. This painting is a little sloppy. Stone critters. Okay, I'm moving on from the giraffes. <laughs> Today is the day of unicorns and giraffes. Mm, it's a shame that canvas is all warped. I know I could probably sprinkle some water on it, but I'm just not that committed. That's fancy. It's got etching on it. We probably need some denture tablets. Or vinegar to get rid of that hard water stain. The whole side is etched. I don't see any markings on it. $2.99. Well, I just stopped my cart right here to snap a picture for my thumbnail of my video. And as I was snapping my thumbnail, I happened to look down and I noticed this on the bottom shelf. My suspicion is that it is fake, but we're gonna look at it anyway, because it could be Roseville. This is a Roseville, USA, if it's legit. The painting is a little sloppy on it. Mmm, bummer. Yeah, it just says Roseville. I don't think it's real. Okay, well, I am getting ready to wrap it up here, but I noticed this on the bottom shelf. We may have looked at this before. Maybe we looked at something similar. I'm not sure if that's Bartlett Collins the grapes on it. It's only $1.99. I know there's some value there, but I figure we picked up so many large items today that I think I'm going to leave it for somebody else. <laughs> All right, well, we are going to get out of here now. I feel like this cart definitely slowed me down today. All right, well, I feel like we did pretty good for only an hour of thrifting. We filled the cart. That's the goal. Fill the cart with good stuff. <laughs> and we met our goal. Our total spend was $89. I'm very excited about that needle point. Uh, the last needle point I had it did very, very well. This one is a little bit smaller. It's got birds on it, though, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to have a hard time letting go of it, to be honest. But I'm just right now trying to purge so that when we do inevitably move going to happen when we find the right house um i don't have as much to move so i'm just right now i'm kind of thinning out my own collection so i don't need anything new i'm gonna let it go but um the other cool thing was when i was wrapping that cookie jar with the little boy with the glove i realized on the back it says treasure craft 
I did not know that when I picked it up. Uh, but that was also very cool. And George the Antique Nomad is actually coming to visit me this weekend. So by the time you're seeing this video, he will have already left. But <laughs> that I'm very excited about that visit. So I'm going to get out of here now. I'm heading down the road to the next Goodwill. Dagny is going to meet me. And uh, you guys are going to have to wait for that video. And I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.